Hey Virgo, this is Soul. And Virgo, this is going to be your general love forecast for the month of July 2017. Messages will also be for Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising. Okay, Virgo, just this once for the month of July, I've decided to do these um, readings for you. Uh, they're not live, but they are going to be recorded. But the shuffling is going to be live. This was my gift to my fellow Cancerians who were seller celebrating their birthdays along with me in the month of july so i figured i'd do it not only for them i'll do it for all the zodiac signs in it so uh i hope it is appreciated <laughs> anyway uh because i i still would like to stick to my same uh routine the way that i do it this is too time consuming but anyway um this is your reading and uh, i'm focusing your energy asking spirit uh what messages do you want me to convey to virgo in the month of uh, july regarding um love and relationships and keeping it focused just on love and relationships not talking about any other areas or aspects of your life okay what's going on for uh virgo in the month of july 2017 virgo sun virgo moon virgo rising what are the messages spirit you want me to convey to virgo all right Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. And at times I will jump around to connect uh, the cards to create your story. So just bear with me. Also using Amira's Love Oracle uh, cards to uh, support your reading. And these messages um, may be, you know, total separate messages and just messages for those Virgos who need to hear the messages and may be unrelated to the uh, above reading. Okay. All right. Love Oracle messages for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, Virgo Rising, month of July 2017. Okay, so let's begin your reading here, Virgo. All right, so the very first card in the overall energy for you for the month is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay, so it's showing up in the reverse. Um, so that means that I'm reading or recording this video for you on June 22nd. So the energy could be occurring now or it could be the start of the month of June that someone got fortunate when... It came to love and relationship. Okay, this is a happy-go-lucky card, a wheel of fortune. Um, also, too, uh, in the reverse position, it could be that someone has to uh, make sure that they're paying attention fully, uh, that there could be some sort of misfortune going on in terms of a relationship. All right? So, think of the uh, wheel of fortune. It's a number 10, so it's a completion in the reverse. So, someone gets lucky here or very fortunate when it comes to a relationship. Then uh, for the overall uh, month, it could be for those Virgos who aren't focused enough or paying attention that there's some sort of mishap or misfortune going on. I don't want to say bad luck because I don't really believe in bad luck. It's just, you know, those things or events that happen to us is um, created in our own thought uh, processes. And once we think about it, we think about it too much, then the universe generates that energy and brings it towards us so no bad luck some sort of uh, misfortune though uh, if you're not staying focused or paying attention but someone here connects with a relationship or got very fortunate the fortunate excuse me the fortune could be uh, someone who's you know went down the aisle uh, and I know that I've been getting a lot of comments here 
uh, from some um, Virgo viewers about the energy that you may have been experiencing. Um, trust me when I tell you this, that these cards, uh, if I haven't done you know the live shuffle for you and stuff, this is what I normally do anyway prior to hitting record. So it's not like I'm setting the cards up uh, just so that, you know, you can be miserable. That's not the case. <laughs> this is what I do. But anyway, pay attention to the Wheel of Fortune. It's a 10, so it's a completion. The wheel continuously uh, turns here. So what's crossing that um, Wheel of Fortune is the Ace of Wands. So maybe, and this is in the reverse as well. So the Aces always represent fresh starts, new beginnings. So maybe this Ace crossing the Wheel of Fortune for someone who has gotten lucky or fortunate within a uh, relationship or started dating someone new. This could have been with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Relationship that may have started quickly. Okay? So, in the reverse. Now, for the overall meaning of the reverse position for those who haven't got fortunate back here within terms of a relationship, this is still something that's forthcoming. And it may be that, you know, this Ace of Wands um you know, because it's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male, female, that you have to pay attention. Something may happen quickly, but if you're not paying attention, then it could you could lose out. That's the misfortune. All right. So pay attention. So I feel that a relationship will start quickly for some of you um, that may or may not be directly related to fire signs. It could be with any zodiac sign. Next card up is the seven of cups so the seven of cups comes in uh as a couple messages as well number one it's always a warning sign when there's multiple choices to be had but we're only talking about love and relationships here so let's stay focused on that so i see it in terms of its energy of you know a month being filled with uh options but you have to make sure that you pick and choose the option that's going to best resonate for you because this is you know with that warning it's a kind of card in its energy related to something that might come back and bite you in the ass if you do not choose wisely okay and then we're dealing with emotions here as well so pick and choose wisely this is also a card of one night stand so there might be something going on with virgos who run into um you know, d dealing with some sort of one night stands. And if that's the case, that's fine. I'm not someone who judges, you know, whatever um, floats your boat or whatever you choose to do. See, it's part of a choice here. All right. Keep that in mind. Cups represent water signs. So it could be uh, something going on in, or having exchanges with Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female. <coughs> Excuse me, um, Virgo. I apologize for that. Next card up is the... Um, Okay, three of pentacles in the reverse. Now, I also got comments about enough about the uh, love triangles, you know, because it's not relevant. It will always be relevant for me, you know, and you can throw those comments in all you want to. Any threes that show up in my reading, that's related to a love triangle, okay? Now, depending on the element that shows up, then there's a specific message for you. Three of pentacles in the reverse is for those uh, Virgos who may be dealing with... Um, someone that is in the workplace environment this is in the reverse so it could be a you know an affair or an attraction comes to an end because it's not you're not getting along well with that person this person may be attached pentacles represent your energy and that energy of um capricorn and taurus so whether or not it's exchanges with another earth sign it is irrelevant Specifically, I'm just reading for love and relationships this month, a workplace environment, attraction comes to an end or there's an end to um, a love triangle. There's no movement here. Pentacles represent steady and slow and the reverse is even worse. There's lack of progression. All right. Next card up going out into the future is the seven of wands. Now, the seven of wands is showing up. Um, this is fire energy. It's a physical card. So it doesn't necessarily always having uh, to relate to battles and struggles with others, but it could have been exchanges with that energy of fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, someone feeling defensive or feeling like they're being personally attacked with the seven of wands energy outside of any of those things or those messages. It could be just an increase of energy for Virgos this month to put yourself out there. If you are single or if you're not single, it could be that work 
you're working on your relationships uh, in the month of July, which is not a bad thing, you know, because relationships require a lot of work and um, the amount of work that you put towards it, uh, you know, normally, hopefully pays off, you know, for you in the end. Next card up is the, um, here we go again. This is the three of swords. And the only damn time I like to see the three of swords is when it shows up in the reverse. So this is for some of you out there that I'm reading for this could be a completion of a divorce all right three of swords is showing up this could be um part of the energy related to ending of a workplace attraction or an affair all right split separations heartache grief and because i am only speaking about love and relationships uh for you virgo this is an ending of that separation splits heartache and grief no more suffering the pain is coming to an end for some of you this is also uh like i said before could be the the divorce uh completion of a divorce this is a very painful card and i'm happy that is in the reverse that's the only time i like to see this three of swords show up in any reading general or love is when it's in the reverse ending of some sort of heartache grief separation final divorce leaving a relationship that caused a lot of pain and grief and suffering all right you have to think of it in that way next card up is the um hermit okay so this is a major arcana and it's in the reverse. So that's, you know, the Hermit is never a card of energy uh, that I pull in in terms of negativity. It could be that, you you know, you go in when it's in the upright that you have to uh, assess something, okay? The scythe that this man is holding, if you can see it in the card, it's all about making a decision. But you take yourself out of a, or take yourself away or out of a situation so that you can, uh, in the upright, uh, to assess or evaluate so that when you come out that this safe is going to help you in making the decision so some of you are and it might be because it's following this three of swords that some of you made a decision that was right for you or a decision that was causing a lot of pain grief heartache and suffering and it was the best thing for you so now you're coming out of that mode uh, because you made a decision usually coming out of it uh, represents a, a clearer or a brighter or you know better perspective in handling things and the fact that this hermit is facing the um, always pay attention to the direction of the um, energies of these cards the hermit in the reverse is facing this three of swords okay so it's like you're putting or using that scythe to end this grief pain and suffering when it comes to relationships or having to deal with enough you know of that energy i forgot to mention that the swords represent gemini libra aquarius male or female there may have been a, you know exchanges with those energies that created this pain and suffering for you but it's coming to an end and you're coming out of that phase which is good the next card up then virgo is um oh yeah ace of cups in the reverse <coughs> excuse me now even though this is the um you know ace of cups in the reverse this is still a good card you know aces are always about fresh starts new beginnings and i also said that in the mix of saying i don't like the three of swords when it shows up for a love reading or a general reading but i also like to see cups show up now depending on what cups it is now this is the best uh more or less like the best cups that you can get outside of the two of cups this is the start of something new when it comes to a relationship but in the reverse that means that it's a relationship that may be on weight also to the ace of cups sits underneath the seven of cups as having multiple uh, options also too it could be that there is a waiting for a relationship to begin possibly with a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces male or female but this ace is a strong indicator that this love which is an offer of love is on its way okay next card up after the ace of cups is the okay seven of pentacles in the reverse this is a, another card of options so that means that there might be multiple options at the start of the month for some of you and this pentacles represent your energy and then someone you know virgo selects someone this is a card of options and then the female in this card is facing the ace of cups as something to begin 
And I just don't want to focus solely on the Virgo singles because there's enough energy here that I'm picking up related to couples as well. So you just have to make or tie in that energy. It could be for the couples, a fresh start, new beginning and an offer of love in an existing relationship. So you can look at that. And then also to maybe that couples or a Virgo that I'm reading for that's already couple had to take uh, a step back and evaluate a, a relationship that had nothing to do with the three of swords energy. So, so many things coming in here and I don't want to, you know, make it seem like this is just for single uh, Virgos. It's not. It's for uh, singles and couples. Then we have the six of swords. I'm sorry, the six of wands. So, whatever it is that you deal with, you know, between now and the start of July, when it comes to relationships, someone's going to achieve victory and success. This is your last card and it's the tail end of the month. And fire sign energies again Aries Leo Sagittarius male or female moving forward positive energy moving forward so after all of the um, seven of wands energy if you were doing uh, battles and struggles with a relationship then there's you know that relationship caused a lot of grief and pain that's coming to an end you decided or someone you know you made a decision to leave that suffering pain and suffering behind you and then the ace of cups comes in as an opportunity of a new love possibly entering into your um you know your your, your space and your energy but also too there's a message too if there was anyone going through any of this um three of swords energy and then you had to go back and and sort of like uh, i don't like to say hibernate or going to solitude, but sometimes you have to, uh, to evaluate a situation, but you're using that scythe to come out of it. And then once you made a decision to leave a painful, uh, relationship or a situation behind, then, you know, you're looking forward to something new to begin. This is an offer of love, multiple choices. Those who may have had choices at the beginning of the month, then select someone with the seven of pentacles showing up in the reverse then you achieve victory and success okay moving forward positive energy moving forward um in terms of relationship all right virgo that is excuse me oh, that is your reading general love reading and then uh, cards to support your reading and like i said before earlier these messages may be you know totally separate uh and unrelated to your uh above message but maybe just messages that i need to put out there to you and someone uh who receives them okay young female so this could be um because it is a young female also too she has red strawberry blonde hair or whatever it could be and this female could be any uh complexion even though she's you know appearing to be white she could be any complexion this is a young female she could be any religious um, background uh, ethnicity uh, but she's vibrant she has a lot of energy and she could be um, you you know and like I said male or female energy it could be you Virgo waiting uh, to get you know jump start a new relationship or just waiting for someone new to come in this is uh i'm connecting that energy with the ace of cups as a relationship being offered or about to be offered to you or you're about to offer uh your love to someone else that may be completely new and for like i said before the ones who are already coupled it could be a turnaround and a new uh whole situation when it comes to love in a relationship all right then we have the ice queen so i don't fully really you know know these cards too well i don't like to um read too much into the uh description of the cards i always try to pick up what i feel that might be related to its energy but i'm not feeling anything it could be that this ice queen which is representative of someone being cold um could be a message for those virgos out there to not you know, allow your heart to freeze up or be cold uh, and block new love coming in or, you know, start dating or something like that. But then again, you can, you know, use this card and come up with any kind of message that you feel is, um, you know, related to your situation. But I'm that's what I'm picking up intuitively. You know, don't block your don't block. um don't block yourself from meeting someone new or closing your heart off or becoming cold in the situation. All right. 
last one I have for you is uh, wallflower. This is self-explanatory. So if you are out and about in a social situation and you're single and you're trying to meet, and if you are coupled, you know, and you're out, just get out there and enjoy yourself. Don't sit there up against the wall and um, think that everybody else is going to have fun and you're not having fun. Uh, so it might be that you just need to exercise, you know, once you go out there in the social setting to not become a wallflower. So this might be a little bit of a warning. Okay. If you go out or venture out, see, because there's, you can't really see it in the card, but there's people and you know, there's people in the background and either there's someone lurking, not really lurking. I shouldn't say lurking. There's someone for you to meet, but you're not paying attention. And remember I said the will of fortune, if you're not paying attention, there could be a missed opportunity. So you can look at it that way when it comes to uh, that energy. All right, Virgo, this is uh, your reading. And I feel uh, intuitively and personally that it's not really a bad reading. Hence the three of swords showing up, but it's in the reverse, which is always good because it's a completion of ending uh, some sort of heartache, grief, grief, separation, divorce, what have you. Okay. With that being said, uh, Virgo, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until I talk to you again, please be well. Bye.